Andalusia is the most chilled out part of Spain, but for some reason, they have to speak absurdly fast, which makes no sense to me. Okay, it's Friday, it's about 11.30. I have a bunch of VO2 intervals to go take care of today. And to make it more interesting, I'm going to try and explain the languages that are spoken in Spain in between my intervals. I don't know nearly enough to try and explain this, but I'm gonna do my best. If any Basque or Catalan people actually end up watching this video, I'm probably gonna piss a lot of people off. Getting out of the city is always more difficult than it needs to be because people are too nice. Like, they're too patient with other people. So, back in the 1100s, Spain was pretty much entirely controlled by the Muslim Caliphate. And the Muslims had conquered Spain from south to north, which means that the most, the one with the most like Muslim kind of heritage is Andalusia, where I live. There's a ton of Muslim architecture in Malaga, Sevilla, Cordoba, and Granada. But, uh, hola. But even the Muslims were just like, Nah, fuck well, but that place is a shithole. <laughs> Even though I love this place, it's really great. Except for Asturias. And Asturias is really proud of that, like, it's in their tourism brochures. We're the only ones who didn't get captured by the Muslims. As a result, Asturias kind of has their own language too, it's like Asturiano or something, or like Leonese. I just looked this up on Wikipedia right before I came out here. We've got Spanish, Basque, Catalan, and Gallego. And Muslims were mostly pushed out by the Castilian Empire, hence why 99% of Spain speaks Spanish. There were other kingdoms controlling parts of Spain at the time. Portugal was controlling the area now known as Galicia. Catalonia was its own empire, as was the Basque country. So, I'll start with Galicia because that's the simplest one. So, Gallego is basically just Spanish with some Portuguese words mixed in. By the way, if you're Spanish and you're trying to tell a secret around a Portuguese person, apparently they can understand us even though we can't understand a word of what they're saying. Well, maybe like one word. Now, elaborating on Basque. So, Basque is in its own language tree. It has nothing to do with the Roman Romance languages at all. But right now, I'm about to tell you how to convert a Spanish word into a Basque word. It's the easiest trick ever. Take all the vowels and half the consonants. And then, Throw out the other half of the consonants and replace them with either an X or a Z or a V. And just write it out, and that's how you write Basque. But in terms of pronunciation, you're on your own, because I have no idea how to pronounce that many X's and Z's. Go back on. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna not try to record that way again. So I've already covered Galician and Basque, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about Catalan. So Catalonia used to be its own independent country uh, before the 1700s, I think. Maybe it was earlier. I probably should have Wikipedia this better. They spoke their own language called Catalan. And Catalan is a mixture of Spanish, French, and Italian. So basically, <coughs> What you do is you speak Spanish, but you make it sound a little bit more French, you know? So you say like, merci, merci, and like, s'il vous plaît, and you leave like open O's, O's with T's at the end of words. You basically just speak Spanish and make it sound a little bit more sing-songy. Problem is that if you tell any Catalan person 
who's like really independent, pro-independence, that Catalan is basically Spanish, they'll get super offended. Like, even though both languages come from the same language tree, and all Romance languages pretty much, pretty much use the same grammatical structure. <laughs> anyway, like, obviously there are differences, but they're really similar. Good sunset. <laughs>